The missing Springfield man is now safe tonight. 86 year old Donald Titus, who suffers from dementia, was last seen 5 p.m. yesterday evening at his home on Belmont Avenue. He and his car were reported missing around 1.30 this morning and an endangered missing adult alert was activated. But this afternoon, Mr. Titus was found safe in Pennsylvania. Now, many families live with that fear of having an elderly family member go missing. So how do you ensure the safety of a loved one with dementia? Well, Jackie Kucher joins us now with some very important resources and tools available to help families. Yeah, well, conversations like supervision, taking away the keys, those are some of the hardest you'll have. But there are experts available to help families actually have these conversations. This case is tough, though, because Mr. Titus lives alone and his friend says his dementia has really progressed over the past year. It was a morning filled with not only work, but worry for Kathy Howard. Careful, because he's a good friend. 86-year-old Donald Titus went missing. Kathy's also his landlord. So when he didn't come home last night, she alerted his family, who then called police. After a statewide alert, he was found safely in Pennsylvania. Kathy says Titus is aware of his dementia. I'm losing it. I just can't think straight anymore. I keep forgetting. And he's getting more and more paranoid. People are taking his things, they're hiding his money, they're taking his money. His family has talked about assisted living. But he absolutely fights it. Um, and it's not one of those things you can just pick them up and take them there and say, you're going to live here. Those conversations are never easy. That's why the Alzheimer's Association wants families to know they can help. We know it's probably one of the hardest things families have to do. And really it comes down to safety. If there's any signs that the person is having problems with remembering where they are, um, those are the times when we have to do that. 30,000 people suffer from some form of dementia in the Miami Valley. 60% of them will wander from home. That's why many Alzheimer's patients wear a brace for when they're found. Telling neighbors and literally child-proofing your home will help too. There's also technology available. But we also have what's called Comfort Zone. There are other products on the market as well that's actually like a tracker. It's using technology similar to GPS where people would know where the individual is. It's peace of mind Kathy Howard would love to have. But he's definitely going to have to go to assisted living. We feel sure because None of us want to go through worrying about him. And there are an abundance of resources at the Alzheimer's Association Miami Valley chapter, including a 24-7 helpline. We have a link on our website, abc22now.com. Just click on news links. Back to you guys. 60%. Mm.